Hey guys, Jenny here with a, another tag video for you guys, and this one is called the Passport Tag. Um, I'm not sure who created it originally, but I'll put the link in the bottom where I got it from so you can check it out. Um, and it just has five questions, and they're all about your passport. So, uh, here we go. The first one asks, what's your most recent stamp in your passport? So, here's my passport. It's obviously an American passport, and... It, it's a little, it's not too beat up. It has like a white spot on it here. I don't know what that's from. And on the back I have a couple of security stickers. Um, so my most recent passport is on page 13 and it's a little hard to see completely. Um, I don't know if it, if my camera will focus on it or not. But um, it is Paris and it's from January 4th, 2014. So this is when I uh, return to France after Christmas. Um, my first passport stamp is the next question. So my first passport stamp is really, you can't even barely see it. Um, it's this one right here. Ooh, I don't know if it's focusing at all. Um, but it is right here and it's from Barcelona, Spain. and. Basically, all you can read is that you can read like a B and an A right here. Um, sorry, I'm not even doing like a good job of holding it. It's really hard. Um, it has a B and an A, and then you have the date, 24-8-09, so August 24th, 2009. So that's from when I went to study abroad in Spain. Um, the coolest one I have is probably the one from Tokyo, which you can see right here. Um, just because obviously it has like the Japanese writing on it and stuff and it's different from the rest of mine which are all European. Um, next question, what is the most meaningful stamp in your passport? This one was hard for me because I like, there's not, uh, I love all the places I've traveled to so it's hard for me to pick one that's more meaningful and I don't have stamps for all of the places I've visited because if you're traveling within Europe they don't stamp your passport that often. But I think I picked for my most meaningful uh, this one right here. Sorry, I hope this is focusing. I'm gonna have to like redo this whole video. Uh, this one right here is from Zurich, Switzerland, and um, I picked this one because I went there with my grandmother, and she had never traveled outside of the country. Maybe she'd been to Canada, but she'd never been anywhere else. And she really wanted to go to Switzerland and see the mountains, and it was just really cool to travel there with her. Next question is, which was the most difficult to get? This is the last question as well. None of mine were extremely difficult. I mean, I had to get a visa to go to Spain and France, but it wasn't difficult like when I entered the country at all. And you can get those without a visa. Um, I only had to get the visa because I was staying for a long period of time. Uh, I, I ended up picking this one, which is from Calgary in Canada and the reason I picked it is because when I was there um, customs took forever and I was I didn't actually go to Calgary uh, I had a layover there for on my way back from Tokyo and the customs took forever and by the time I got through customs I had already missed my second flight back to Chicago and I was just so upset it was the most difficult like travel experience I've had and I was just really emotional and I had already been awake for like over 24 hours so it was just horrible. Luckily there was another flight to Chicago like four hours later so I was able to get on that. I just had to wait in the airport for a while but yeah so this is the, the passport tag. I will leave the questions in the description box below. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of video, travel videos, and teaching English abroad type of videos. Thanks again for watching and hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye!